Hello everyone, this is Pranay Sai. In this topic, you will be given different forms of a same sentence. Among the given options, you will have to find out the one which is grammatically correct and which also conveys the exact meaning. Let us try to understand this topic with a few examples. Choosing the correct or incorrect sentence. In this topic, you will be given different forms of same sentence. Out of these options, you have to find out the one which is grammatically correct and also conveys the exact meaning. Let us understand a few types of questions asked in this topic. Here is the first one. You are given with different forms of sentences and you need to find out the one which is grammatically correct and also conveys the exact meaning. Okay, let's read out the first one. Since he lacked needed money, he never turned down anyone who needed help. The second one. He wasn't rich by any means, although he never turned down anyone who needed help. Third one. Being not rich by any means, he never turned away anyone who needed help. Fourth one. He wasn't rich by any means, but he never turned away anyone who needed help. And the last one, since he wasn't rich by any means, he never turned away anyone who needed help. Out of the five options, the fourth one sounds grammatically correct and conveys the meaning. He wasn't rich by any means, but he never turned away anyone who needed help. If you look at the other statements, words like since, although, being not rich, and again since, these words do not convey the exact meaning or we can say they are grammatically incorrect. Therefore, option 4 is the right answer. Another question. Here are the four forms of the same sentence. He blew out with a gun his brains after bidding his wife goodbye. He blew out of his brains after bidding his wife goodbye with his gun. He blew out his brains with a gun after bidding his wife goodbye. With a gun, he blew out his brains after bidding his wife goodbye. The first statement seems to be funny, so this is wrong. He blew out with a gun his brains. Does it make any sense? I don't think so. Now let's get into the second one. If you can observe, the second statement is also incorrect. After bidding his wife goodbye with his gun makes no sense. Now let's look for the third one. He blew out his brains with a gun after bidding his wife goodbye. This actually expresses a meaning. After bidding his wife goodbye, he blew out his brains with a gun. So the right option is option three. Next one. Politics is a dirty game. Second statement. 20 miles is a long distance. Third one. She did nothing but sang. Fourth one, his father is an SDO. Each of these are independent sentences. We have to look for grammatical accuracy in this case. Politics is a dirty game. It is grammatically correct. 20 miles is a long distance. Even this is correct. She did nothing but sang. Here she is singular. So after correction, this sentence can be written as She did nothing but sing. This is the right answer. Now then, sometimes he may ask you like this. Which of these is grammatically correct? Here are the options given. These three boys hit each other. Sanjeev lent rupees 2000 to Vineet. I, you and he belong to the same village. Any one of the two students can solve this sum. Among these four options, the one which is grammatically correct is option 2. Sanjeev lent rupees 2000 to Vineet. What about the remaining 3? These 3 boys hate each other. This is grammatically incorrect. As it should be, these 3 boys hate one another. This makes sense. And what about the third one? I, you and he belong to the same village. And this is grammatically incorrect. It should be you he and I belong to the same village. This makes more sense. And the last option. Any one of the two students 
can solve this sum. This is grammatically incorrect. It should be either of the two students can solve the sum.